Hello again, this is Zodius with another review. Yeah, I know it's been a while, but you know, work's been rough. Been trying to stay alive. Anywho, I thought we'd do something that I've had my mind on for a while, and that is Ninja Turtles. Yes, sir, Ninja Turtles. And we're talking, today we're going to do, ta-da, TurtleCom. Adjust my camera here for a sec. There we go. TurtleCom. Now, this is the first TurtleCon that came out. Had one when I was little. This isn't it. Um, I'm looking at it. Let me see. Uh, 1991. Yeah. Well, this one more represents April's, but this was the first toy TurtleCon that was released. Got a little antennas there. Um, the way it pretty much works is um, it gives you this this button right here. You press and it lights up. It's supposed to make a beeping noise. Don't know why it don't work. Took it apart. Tested electronics. Can't figure it out. Marvin has a blown speaker. And pretty much the way it opens up like this. And you take this guy. And you got all these cards of different people. Casey Jones. Besides the turtles. April. Isaki. I thought Splinters always look weird. He looked like he's wearing some sort of biker jacket. I don't know. But that's supposed yep, look at it. It's supposed to be Splinter. Anywho, they just go in there, like so, in a little monitor holder. They have little, uh, come on, focus, focus. Eh, there it is. Little dot slash dot, so you can beep, 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 Morse code. I used to drive my mom nuts with this thing. Beep, beep, beep all the time. <laughs> But, oh, man, I loved this when I was little. I actually felt like I can get a hold of turtles if I needed to. Yeah, I like the spring out antennas. Um, I have to give a shout-out to my girlfriend. She actually cleaned it up. Somebody actually wrote all over it with permanent marker. And, I mean, you can still see a little right here we couldn't get off. But, as you can tell, between all these cracks and everything, she got it cleaned up about as best as we can. But, yeah, that's TurtleCom number one. Adjustment. There we go. All right. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and close this guy up. A little belt clip. Set it aside. Let's go for TurtleCom number two. This was the next release of TurtleCom. Now this was more representative to the ones that Turtles actually carried. Very close to um, accuracy on that. And I believe this one is a 1994 edition. Now, this one has two antennas. You pull out right here. Boom. And you slide it open. And you look at that. That's nice. Now, this one also was the first talking turtle com. Um, you see, that's a little sticker with buttons and stuff right here. Press the center button. I'm sure you can hear it. Cowabunga, dude! Well, not that impressive. But it was pretty cool back in the day. They didn't really have toys like this. It's more rare to have talking toys. You can see how big that speaker is in there. And it is full-size round speaker. Um, We're on our way! Different sayings. Yo, bro, help. A little closer, you can look at the detail. You see the picture and the buttons on the sides. and The middle button's the one you press. Um, I've always liked this one because it was closer to the actual TV series. Yeah. Anywho pretty much what it looks like belt clip and it didn't have no mechanism nothing you just kind of slide it closed you push these two guys in and bam there's your turtle com the only thing with the tv one it was a little bit more rounder and it was a little more flatter this is real long and it pulls open locks open pull out your antennas and bam there's your turtle com now these two were the early 90 versions of the turtle com um this is what you got. You know, you you got this guy right here, which was April's, which I was happy to have it. But to be all fair and honesty, I want the one that the Turtles had. So having that one now, it's just a charm. I've had both of these when I was little. Don't know what happened to them. Don't know. Anywho. Just set these two guys aside. Just go ahead and close them up here. You know, because we're not calling the turtles right now. We really don't, shouldn't leave them open. But here's one that I've 
yet to find a review on, and this is all kind of the reason what got me to do these reviews. This is the Turtle Com, and from the 2002 series, this is a 2003 Turtle Com. As you can see, there's your belt clip, and it's a little loose. I gotta check that out. It has a speaker, his on off switch right here, and you got buttons on the side. Now, I'm going to work this without no sound first because this thing is annoying. But check this out. Hit the button. Wah Pretty neat, huh? And then you open these guys up. A lot of detail. Got two buttons on the inside. This button right here on the side opens it. And this one right here actually changes the tab. You hit that button. Boom. There it goes. Falls out. Flip it over. Now we got Raph. <coughs> bam and depending on which picture you have set forward it hits a different button up here and that's or ooh, right here <laughs> my bad and that's who you're going to be talking to now you got don and you got raf and then up here you got another card with the other two goofy mikey and leonardo so just pops in like that and there you go you can close it up and when you get a call from the turtles, all you do is hit that button, boom, slides right open, open these guys up, bam, turtle com. Oh, not too shabby. Okay, so now I'm going to turn on some sound. Like I said, bear with it, it is annoying. Uh, there it goes. Okay, and then you hit a button. Yep, and then you got this one. I'm surrounded. I'll take care of it. I'm on my way. And like I said, you pop that guy out and pop in a different one, and you'll get a different turtle talking. What's up? Well, that's pretty angry. that guy out, flip it around, got Donnie, Donatello here, give me a sec, I've got company, yeah. got it, okay, well, I'm going to turn that off, see how it just keeps beep, 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 okay, Whew. anywho, so, yeah, you get these, and they're hard plastic, they go right up inside here. Store them, kind of like the. It's it, and it's cool because you got. <clears throat> excuse me, you got the cards that can be changed on this guy right here. I apologize for this review. I know it's not as best good as it could be. Anyways, so you got this world here, and then it slides open, just like this guy. So it's like, it's almost like both of these combined. This one talks and slides open, and this one has the interchangeable face cards um, to give it the look that, you know, you're talking to different people. Um, but the one thing that this one does that I really do adore, and that is the automatic slide open thing. I just really love that. I mean, that was like the cool touch. Just whoop. I wish these things would open up on their own, but hey, you know what? I'm happy with the way it is. Now, I find a lot of these, um, they're very hard to come by, surprisingly. Very hard to come by. I got very lucky with mine, bought it brand new in the box for a good price. Um, I guess what I'm going to try to get at here is that I see a lot of them broken. And they're not hard to come, they're not easy to come by. So, yeah. If you ever find one, you might want to grab it because I don't know how much longer they're going to be around. Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up. This is Odious. Send me suggestions for more reviews. Um, any questions about these things, give me a holler. Um, yeah. Peace out.